If I moved to Russia, what would be some easy and decent paying jobs I could get? It will depend on the next coefficients. First, what is easy for you and what is decent paying job for you? Second, your Russian communication skills, because you should speak on Russian language or maybe shouldn't and uh, you should understand your level. Next, your professional skills or hard working hard skills, you know that uh, you are maybe a football player or maybe photographer, you should understand these skills too. And thank you a lot to Excontinental Mapping who asked this question that I will answer today. And also, today we're gonna talk... Uh, <laughs> today we're gonna talk uh, predominantly to Moscow region. Let's go do this. Hello everybody, my name is Igor and I am a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences. And on this channel I post everything about Russia and I want to do this. I learn English on this channel and I share you and practical uh, tools and tips and some tricks on this channel yes and you can leave your comment sec uh, your comment in the comment section below and I will answer to your question in the next video and now, now let's go welcome back to our topic and let's answer to yourself what is easy and decent paying job is it a physical job or is it a mind brain work valuable job that specialized uh, specialized on something that you should think about something do you want to communicate with people on your job or do you want to work your job by your own will you use specific professional skills or will you use the skills that given to you from your birth? And last question. How much risk are you ready to take? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> well done, my dear viewer! If you answer to this question, then you have a representation of your situation that you have, and you maybe started to understand what kind of job will you prefer to do or not. <laughs> yes or no, it's up to you. Next thing we should understand is your level of Russian language, communication skills. And right now we're gonna talk about a low level of Russian communication skills and jobs that you can use on this level. Let's go! Taxi fucking driver, delivery fucking boy, or a fucking cleaner, or a fucking promoter, or a loader. Only factory. A uh, factory, I mean, yes. And if your level of Russian language is bigger than this <coughs> fucking scum, then you can work as a cashier, or maybe a builder, city worker, or maybe some waiter, or a barber, or maybe kitchen worker, or a cook on a restaurant, yes, and uh, maybe another specialized professions. And if your Russian language is bigger than heavens and uh, bigger than even SpaceX, then you can go to absolutely any job. I'm sure you have absolutely any opportunity to seize this moment. Okay, and let's take a look at last coefficient. It is your professional skills. Do you have any professional skills? Hmm? The most paid job I in Russia are IT jobs. My friend earns 550,000 rubles a month as a one manager of a good company. IT company. In 2016 I worked as a videographer with camera. If you are a photographer or a videographer or a video operator or someone editor, then you can you earn uh, approximately from 90,000 rubles a month to 120,000 rubles a month. If you are a certificated native English teacher, then you can earn 150,000 rubles a month. Or if you are a designer, you can earn also approximately 70 thousand rubles a month. Finally, I want to encourage you to learn Russian language, because it gives you much more opportunities to find a job that could be looking easy and decent, like you maybe asked in the comment section before, yes, and guys, if you are interested in some new videos, you can leave in the comment section below your questions, and uh, by the way, don't forget to improve your professional skills too, I'm watching you, I'm watching you right now, yes, please uh, improve your professional skills, like a beatboxing skills or maybe something else, 
please improve yourself daily. This channel is about improving, improving my English and uh, improving my acting skills in some way and uh, joking in some way and also uh, about sharing kindness to love your parents, love your family, love for yourself and uh, be cool guy. Yes, you are a nice uh, human. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit like and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to improve yourself daily.